Thank you for tuning in to Homeschool Homesteaders. Today we're going to talk about growing radishes. This is the USDA plant hardiness zone map. And I live in the state of Minnesota. And as you can see, this little red dot, this is where I live. And so that puts me in zones around four or three. I'm not really sure what zone I live in. It changes from year to year. When it comes to the difficulty level, every other YouTuber will say radishes are the most easiest plants to grow. However, in my humble objective opinion, if you go on a scale of 1 through 10, 1 being very easy, 10 being very hard, I will give radishes maybe 3.5 out of 10, somewhere right here. And the reason why radishes are not as easy to grow as people claim is because when it comes to the ideal growing temps you need somewhere between 40 fahrenheit to 80 fahrenheit a few days of frost is okay maybe they could handle three or four and high temps will cause the plants to bolt so you want them right up here between 40 and 80 degrees fahrenheit now, in the year 2020, Minnesota temperatures were not ideal for growing radishes. For example, on May 20th, we had 27 degrees Fahrenheit. That is freezing. That is way too cold to plant anything. 19 days later, on June 8th, temperatures were 97 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is way too hot to grow temp. Um, to grow radishes. So this is not enough time to have uh, a perfect radish harvest. However, I did succeed. And uh, regarding uh, health benefits on the scale of one through 10, one being the least nutritious, such as iceberg lettuce, and 10 being the superfoods, such as avocados, radishes will probably fall somewhere around seven out of 10. So yes, this is something you should grow in your garden. Learn to love them if you hate them. This is the month of May in my house, spring month. I'm gonna plant probably this weekend, but look at the week before the weekend I'm planting. There's still snow on the ground. As soon as the snow melted, temperatures were around 40. I planted, I made a little trench about half inch deep and spaced the seeds about three inches apart, two, three inches apart. This is about eight, nine days later. This is 20 days later. They grow very fast. Slow start, but they speed up really quick. And about 27, 28 days later, harvest time. As we are searching for some good radishes to pull out and show you guys, uh, notice the quality of my soil. I never add any pesticides, herbicides, any plant food. This is just compost and it's kind of sandy the first year doing radishes on this plot. So the soil is not that great, but you know, who cares? It still grows. They don't require a lot of additives, but look at a beautiful radishes and yeah water it spray it down and go make yourself some food now radishes you know when to pick them when they show like the shoulders of the radishes start to stick out so if you could see here you know you see some small ones but then you see some big ones so go for the big ones and rip them pull them out Now I should have left this one because it's still a bit too small and give it a few more days, but just pull it out just to show you guys that small ones are not ideal.
Now, radishes are a great soil indicators. Uh, if you have a fairly good sized bulb, that means it has the minerals in the soil and the nutrients. And when you look at the foliage, it determines how well or how much nitrogen your soil has. So here I got fairly good foliage. That means there's enough nitrogen in the soil. Now, with the size of the radish, you want to pick them slightly bigger than a nickel and slightly smaller than a quarter, 25 cents. When it comes to eating radishes, I just put them in all of my salads, and I have a salad every dinner time. Or the old-fashioned way is you put some ranch on the plate with some other veggies, and you dip them in, and you munch on them. And you continue. Every time you have a salad, you put some radishes in there. This is my favorite recipe regard with radishes. So you chop up a hard boiled egg, whatever size you want. Then you add the radishes, you know, chopped up radishes. You put them in. Then you add some green onions. Then you add the chopped crab meat. Uh, you add some salt and pepper to taste, and you combine everything with mayo. I am holding the camera with one hand, so this is why I'm mixing bad. You could always eat the salad plain, or here we take a piece of toast. We spread some lettuce. And then we pile on the crab salad. As long as the radishes are growing, keep putting them in your salads. Because once the high temperatures hit, such as we had in 2020, the radishes start to bolt. I had about a 60% success rate. Uh, the rest of the plants just bolted. As you look at here, you know, they turn into seeds, start flowering. And even if you pull them out, um, they're no longer big and they're kind of very tough. So this is what high temperatures do to your radishes. This is why you need ideal growing temps. 2020 did not really provide it.